I've told you that I am a vasculitis patient and you've told me that you are yes. a vasculitis <laughs> patient. So since you went through the process of getting in undergrad and medical school, tell me a little bit, you have some advice maybe yes. for vasculitis patients in particular? I think when you're choosing a school, look at how they can accommodate you. Sometimes for us, we might be a little bit more fatigued. We might have appointments that are added on last minute. I would say reach out to the school, see what their policies are, see how accommodating they are. They also want you to come to them in terms of what you think you might need because you know yourself best and they can see what they can do to accommodate around you. I think it's really important when you're choosing like a medical school, for example, where you have to go to different clinical rotation sites. Some might be for us like an hour away and others might have more close proximity locations such as smaller community hospitals that might be like 15 or 20 minutes away from your normal medical school. And I think it's really important that you consider those things like can you drive yourself an hour and still be present and not tired after you know you drove just an hour and then you have a full day of clinic versus like if you go to a medical school that has a little bit more close proximity you might not be as tired from the drive and then you're able to perform your duties as a medical student a little easier and thinking about that. Also talk to the students as well. They know their school best and they can give you very clear and honest advice of how accommodating they are because I think your school is what really makes the experience. Just choosing and being particular about those schools is really helpful in helping you succeed as a patient and student.